I don't believe in ghosts. Um, I'm kind of a northern sceptic. But it's been very strange hearing everybody's stories this evening, at least with the full moon outside and Halloween in two days. And sparked a memory, something I'd forgotten from a long time ago. I grew up in a place called Lytham St Anne's. Uh, I lived there from when I was about four to when I was eight, I think. And um, wh where we lived, we lived in a place called St Anne's Road East, and the houses there are sort of Victorian-ish houses, I think. A reasonable size, some of them. And I remember we, there were a group of us who used to play. There was a, a rec, recreation ground down the road, and we had been playing there, and it must have been about this time of year, because we were playing after school, maybe it was half term. But it was getting dark early, so it must have been about 4.30 or something. And we were all doing dares, you know, who'd jump off the swings or who'd jump off the roundabout, stuff like that. And then somebody said, right, okay, I dare everybody to go to the house. Now, the house was a house which was on the corner of uh, the road where I lived. It was a Victorian house, which was kind of... Victoria's sort of gothic, funny little turret things on it. I'm in a small house, just over, over decorated, I suppose. And it'd been empty for some years. Um, so, you know, kids, we used to go and play in the garden and so on. The whole place was boarded up. Anyway, we went off to the house. We arrived at the house, the boards over the windows, the doors, but um, one of the more adventurous of us managed to get bored off the bottom of the door. So then the day was, you know, day to go inside, day to go inside. So we all go inside, and the ground floor, we went in, um, the door was sort of at one end of the house, there was a stairway that went up one side of the house. On the ground floor there was furniture, covered in dust sheets, but furniture, it had been empty, as I said, it must have been years, I think. Um, dust everywhere, anyway, we kind of went in there, we all thought we were the famous find, finding the diamond smugglers or something, so then we... Had a look around downstairs. We set off up the stairs. We got to the top of the stairs, a long corridor at the top of the stairs, door off either side, and at the end of the, the landing, a smaller door in the wall there. And from this door, underneath the door, light was spilling out under the door along the corridor. We just assumed it was the sun sort of going down through a window at the end. So anyway, we were all playing around, and this is it, this is where the smugglers are, and we're all going along this corridor, and the guy in front throws open the door, opens the door. There's no windows in the room, and the light's coming from, uh, there's a boy, the far side of the room, same sort of age as us, but looking odd, different, he's wearing his shorts too long, and strange sort of out-of-date clothes. Standing there, uh, holding a candle, and I was, I think, about third or fourth through the door, and I stopped, all the hairs on the back of my neck stood up. There was a kind of beat, and then literally we all came running out of the room, hurtling down the stairs, out the front of the house, out the drive. As we came out of the drive, we ran straight into the arms of our local plot, the policeman, who immediately started accusing us of um, vandalising and trespass and whatever, and we were all telling him what we see. And whether it was because we were so shaken up or whatever it was, but he seemed to half believe it. He made us go back to the house. So we go back to the house with him, we get to the front door, he pulls off half the door to get in, he's a big fat guy. And um, we go up the stairs. We get to the top of the stairs, and the light is still shining out from the door, which is now closed again. So he then takes us along the corridor, we're all cowering behind him gets to the door and opens the door and inside the boy with the candle is standing there. And the policeman who gets my vote for the bravest guy I've ever met says something like, little boy, what are you doing? Or something. The little boy says, I'm not a little boy. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> right. 
Oh, uh, that was so good. Do you know what? I came in too close on you too early. I didn't know how long the story that's right. was. That's all right, mate. Is it stop recording now?